Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey guys, Coach Kurt. So this video is going to be on Ukemi, the art of falling, rolling, break falls, etc. And just how important it is in any grappling system. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is guilty of not covering this nearly enough. Um, I've noticed, you know, coming from a, a, a Hapkido background and cross-training in Aikido over the years and uh, training in Taiho Jitsu and other grappling systems, uh, uh, judo, judo is a good example, uh, how they really take Ukemi very serious. Uh, you start your class with uh, falls and rolls a lot. That's what part of the warm-up is, you know, you do some light stretching, blah, 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 and then lots of rolling, falling, Ukemi. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, not so much. They do a lot of shrimping, and that's super important. But uh, it, we absolutely need to do better as a community uh, as far as Jiu-Jitsu. Um, Japanese jiu-jitsu or your Hawaiian jiu-jitsu like Danzenru jiu-jitsu, for example. All those systems incorporate a lot of ukemi. Super important. If you can't take a fall, in, you're going to get hurt. And more importantly, uh, in a real-world situation, as you get older, become elderly, uh, you're more receptive to getting hurt when you fall. So learning ukemi is super important and you'll see from you know you're watching the screen right now with all the takedowns and throws that you do when you grapple or train any kind of grappling system you have to know how to fall i recall an incident where i was doing bike patrol and something i got caught up i think it was a piece of rebar i was cutting through a construction site got caught up in my uh front tire and i went flying over the front of the handlebars uh, and landed in a perfect side fall. And it rocked my world because it was still on, uh, you know, pavement. But it, it, I was fine. I didn't break anything. I didn't hurt anything or injure anything. I've slipped in, on, on the road in snow. You know, uh, we've all been there. We've all fallen on our ass. And learning how to fall and roll isn't just for fighting. It's for life in general. But... In this video, that's what we're going to cover. It basic ukemi, basic basic break falls, rolls, etc. And I cannot emphasize enough just how important it is. You need to find a good instructor. You can learn this from this video, I'm sure. Um, but it's good to find an instructor and or a school that teaches ukemi. Again, Hapkido, Japanese jiu-jitsu styles, Taiho jitsu, uh, Aikido, um, there's others. I, I know there's others. It's just these are the systems and styles that incorporate a lot of ukemi. Uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, kind of guilty of not doing that. Unless you go to a school that also has a, like a strong judo program, in which case you probably will be doing ukemi. Um, but most jiu-jitsu schools, I mean, again, you do, you do your basic backfall uh, and then you do a lot of shrimping. Uh, you run in circles a lot to warm up. I've never understood why you run in circles to warm up when there are applicable exercises like pummeling. And there's a lot of other things you can do to warm up that are uh, grappling specific and running in circles isn't one of them. But I digress. So let's get on with it. Let's go to Ukemi break falls. And we're going to start with the basic backfall. You see that I'm dispersing the energy by dropping my arms down in a uh, like the bottom of an X. I'm not letting my head hit the mat. You see that I'm getting up in a good tactical getup or a technical getup, as they call it in jiu-jitsu. Super important. I have a whole video on technical getup. I'll attach that in the uh, video. See, the yellow lines, no. You don't want your arms out straight. You'll hurt your shoulders. You want them, uh, like I said, the bottom of an X or 45 or 90 degree, whatever. I'm not a mathematician. You see that's how it is. Head off the mat. Super important. Again, tech, technical get-up. Uh, whenever applicable, you should be doing a technical get-up. So here I am doing it again. Notice, again, that the arms are down like the bottom of an X. I'm always protecting my head. Here's a jumping variation of it. This is something uh, you could do. Like, you can't always be in a position to be thrown and uh, take that kind of energy. So here's a way of doing it without a partner throwing you. Uh, it's a more advanced way of doing it. It's just a jumping backfall. Um, 
that is a good way to practice it. Here's a soft version. Um, like if you just got pushed down and it wasn't a lot of energy, this is how they're teaching it at the academy now because the instructors there, quite frankly, didn't exactly, except for there's a couple. There's a couple instructors that are very uh, good grapplers and they taught back falls correctly. But a lot of people were getting hurt in the field because they weren't emphasizing how to flay out the arms uh, like the bottom of an X. Oh, you need to break that energy. Um, and that's why the soft back fall. So here's the back roll. Uh, for some reason, some people have a hard time with it. Again, just like a front roll, and we'll get with that later. See how the head is off to the side. There I am, freezing it. I'm rolling over the shoulder. And in this case, I'm going over my right shoulder, so my right foot is the lead foot. That's how you know which side you're going to roll over. If it was the other way, I'd be my head would be going the other direction, and I would have my lead foot as the left foot. And I'll show that again. Again, you're just sitting down, basically, rounding out, going over whatever shoulder side you want. But the shoulder you are going over is the way you're looking. And you're also definitely not rolling on the neck. You see that I'm on the shoulder. There should be very, very little pressure on your head whatsoever. You're protecting your neck when you do this. On all your falls and rolls, you're always protecting your head, back, and spine. Side fall, another example of what we were just saying, protecting your head, back, and spine, especially in this fall. See how I'm hitting the ground. The energy is being absorbed by the lat, by your thigh. Um, here is a good example. See how my leg is bent. My ankle is not slapping on the ground. My head is tucked and shin is tucked. Um, and you see on the other side, my right leg, my foot uh, is helping absorb the energy. All that energy of the fall is, is in the... Um, your lat, your thigh, your buttocks, um, and your tricep area. See how my hand is bent? I'm slapping out, but then it's popping up again. Slapping out, head is protecting. I'm always protecting my head. Never let your head hit the ground. Good technical get up, protecting yourself at all times. That's super important. You have to protect yourself at all times. Uh, and in all you can be, again, I can't emphasize enough, you're protecting your spine, you're protecting your head, you're protecting your neck. Here's a jumping side fall. Again, this would be an advanced way of doing it, um, a way of projecting yourself when someone's not actually throwing you. You see a lot of this in hop keto and Aikido because uh, a lot of times you're falling out of a technique to protect from getting your shoulder broken or your wrist broken. Uh, you won't uh, see this in any Brazilian jiu-jitsu school I've ever roll, uh, rolled at. I've never seen them practice any of this type of ukemi. It's always at a hapkido school, a judo school, a traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu school, etc. You get the idea. Um, more advanced way of practicing it. It's not necessary, but uh, a great way to build up your confidence when you're falling and rolling. The front roll. Um, round. Think round. The rounder, the better. And again, you're going over the shoulder, not the head. This isn't like a somersault where you would do it in gymnastics. I'm rolling over the shoulder. I'm rounding out my arm. I'm keeping the arm firm, uh, but I'm still relaxed. You're just rounding out and using your body as a frame, thinking of yourself as turning yourself into a circle, tucking your chin. Um, at one point, I'll freeze the frame, and you'll see a little better what I'm talking about. See how I'm rounding the arm out? Pinky facing uh, towards the way you're rolling, thumb facing in between your legs. I'm literally tucking my arms through my legs, tucking my head, and rolling nice and smooth. Uh, you sh as I'm going across the back. That's what I'm emphasizing there with my finger. Across the back, not down the spine. Here are, you see how I'm tucking the head. The arm is rounded. I'm going to be going across the back. Um, it is not across the, down the spine if you're going down the spine you're doing a somersault and that's incorrect so here i am combining the side fall and a roll so it's a rolling side fall this is as advanced as you need to get you don't need to do a jumping side fall this is a rolling side fall very applicable and this would be another way of training it you're basically instead of uh, rolling to get back up you're sticking your leg out and you're doing a side fall pretty self-explanatory guys super important um Side fall is probably the fall you're going to be taking the most and the back fall, regardless of the grappling system you're in. Uh, anyway, the front fall. This is one that you don't see a lot. I learned it in Hapkido. I've seen judo guys do it. Um, 
I mean, I'm sure other systems do it. It's just that I, I don't see it taught very often. See how my arms are, uh, elbows are facing out a little bit, and you're thinking of using them as a bumper. Uh, my butt is up in the air, so I'm not slamming my pelvis into the ground. I'm turning my head to the side. Here I am again in slow motion. I'm jumping down. The arms are out. See how I'm, uh, my my waist is off the ground. You can see above the picture of the triangle. That's the position your arms should be in. You're looking away. And this would be like if you tripped forward or somebody tripped you forward. This would be a front fall. And it's another one of those important falls. So let's wrap this up. In a nutshell, if you grapple, it doesn't matter what system you train. Judo, jiu-jitsu, taiho jitsu, uh, hapkido, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. You should be you doing ukemi. Super important. And it's a great way to warm people up in class. This running in circle stuff always irritates me. You see it in a lot of jiu-jitsu schools. Anyway, everybody take care, stay safe, and stay out of trouble. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Let's roll. Hey. Let's be careful. Thank uh-huh. you.